So for those of you who have been following the progress of the Angela James painting I've been working on, this is the final piece. It is now complete. Um, I apologize for the glare on it. That is the gloss varnish I used. It's a high gloss varnish. I put that in all my paintings. It protects it from damage and scratches and you can clean it. It keeps it from UV sun damage and it's museum quality. So it, it, it's, you know, it's great to put on there, but it does cause problems with photography as you see the big glare there. So, you know, that's why I put it in to get a professional photograph. They know what to do with that much better than I do. So it'll be off to be photographed shortly after this video. Um, so let's just uh, run through this. I'll, I'll show you what, what I had in mind when I was painting this, the symbolisms and things that I may or may not have mentioned in earlier videos. Probably the, the, the biggest thing to go with is the composition that I chose. Out of the photo reference that was available, there wasn't much. I mean, they didn't photograph uh, like they did today. They didn't do that back then, and certainly not with the female hockey. Um, but the images I had available were fantastic for, for, I was able to come up with a great composition and I'll just briefly let you know what, what I, what I had in mind with this. So I went with the pyramid or triangle style of, um, composition. So that's just basically, if you look at these poses, you know, you got one angle here, you got one angle here, and then you've got the base. So triangle or the base down here, sorry. So the base, so it's giving you a triangle or a pyramid. Uh, you see this a lot in movie posters. Probably the, the one you'll notice the most is the Star Wars poster. You got Luke and Leia, you know, with Luke with the lightsaber over his head, Leia at his knees, and then three PO and R two. <clears throat> excuse me, on the other side, and it gives that basic pyramid construction. So that's what I went with here. And if you look at these sticks, the idea why why did I choose the the, the pyramid structure is. If you look at these sticks from toe to butt end, toe to butt end, toe to butt end, they all lead up, if you follow them, to the Hockey Hall of Fame. So I'm subconsciously making your eye go to the Hockey Hall of Fame. It's a, it's a, it's a subconscious thing. It's symbolic. You know, so everything led to the Hall of Fame. That's the idea with these poses and how they're laid out here. The other thing um, I, I wanted to, to bring up in this, the way I laid it out, the way I did it, is my favorite pose out of this whole thing is Angela in her early youth with the Fleming and Penguins. So I wanted to punch this out. So if you look at the, the photo reference I had for that, you can see it's pretty dark, it's blurry. I had to find a way to pump it up and, and, you know, make it crisper and clearer and brighter. So what I did, I have, I have, uh, a few photos from, from back in my day as well with the same sweater. So I was able to, to match it as close as I could and to make it jump out and to bring your eye to that more than all the other poses. What I did is I gave it a light airbrushing of light blue. So let me just zoom in here. You can just see it just enough. Almost looks like lights hitting it from above. And then I gave it a thick light blue outline. So it just punches that right out so that you have no choice but to see it. And, and I love this pose. This pose is my favorite. I mean, you look at, you look at the joy in her face. All right. You can't, you can't accomplish what she's accomplished in anything in life without the joy or love of what you're doing. And you could see it right from the start. She had the joy, which is what allowed her to go through the pain and the disappointments and the discipline that's involved for accomplishing anything, let alone great things. Um, without that inner joy and love of the game, she would not have gone where she was. And, I, and that's what I was hoping to, to get across here with this pose, <clears throat> which I, I, it's, it's my favorite of the whole piece. The other cool thing, uh, a couple of things I should point out with this as well. If you look here, that is Pittsburgh Penguins logo. So at the year, roughly around the year, if not the year, that the uh, that we we were playing, or Angela was playing here in Fleming Park, the Pittsburgh Penguins had just joined the NHL. So I think we're looking at 76, 77. Someone may know that. I, I, I'm going off the top of my head with that. But it was around the same time. For some reason, 
Flemington management decided that all the Flemington penguin sweaters should have a Pittsburgh penguin patch on it. I had one as well, and it was a little bit different than that, so I couldn't rely on that. So I had to do a lot of research, and I found it. I actually found the original online, and if you look, you can't see it here. And that's what I had to work with, but I knew what was there from my own sweater. And that's what it is. So that's kind of cool. I thought that was really, really neat that I was able to bring that back to life and, and, and sort of show it. And the, the nice symbolic thing about this pose is I've got, if you look at Angela's skate, one skate is in her past, the old outdoor rinks. The other skate is in her future of international hockey and bright lights and, and the ice of stadiums. And she's straddling both where this line, if you see that line, it's just, it's like, it's leading from the past into everything she's going to accomplish. And by the time you reach here, she's accomplished it. That was the symbolism I did there. Um, and I hope that, uh, I hope you kind of catch that. That's kind of cool. <clears throat> and the other parts that I uh, should probably bring your attention. If you look also at the past, these, these, these there's no shadows off the sticks or the skates. What I've done, I, I left that out purposely. I wanted to show that the memory or the past is is strong, but you know it's not doesn't have the solidity of what she accomplished later with all the hockey hall of fame and with Team Canada. And, that. and to, just to emphasize it and bring you know I, I I put the shadow here on this skate and sticks to make that not only to bring that forward in the painting to to make it look like it's coming out a bit and you know, with the snow spray and everything. But also just to emphasize that she's made her mark, or she's got a solid mark in history here now. There's no mistake. She's accomplished the Hockey Hall of Fame. Right? Well, that's pretty amazing. So it's just a little subtle thing. I don't think anybody would ever catch that. But I did that just, you know, I, I, I like the idea of that. You know, the ghost of past memories to maybe the solidity of, of accomplishments and how they're actually joined. I mean, you can't have one without the other. So it's kind of neat that way. I'll just run you through the painting again, um, let you know what the elements are in here. Of course, you got the Flemington Park Penguins, where she started. And then she moved on to Seneca College with the Seneca Scouts. Moved on to Toronto Beatrice Arrows. You know, she's captain, you know, from a, this is the other nice thing. She was assistant from early youth, and then captain, captain, captain of Team Canada. I mean, wow, come on, that's that's pretty amazing. And then you've got, of course, Team Canada, which all led to Hockey Hall of Fame. You've got the rafters of Seneca, where she, she coached and played hockey. So I love the symbolism of that, and I also love the colors. It goes great with this building. That worked out super well. And then you come down, and I should probably point this out. <clears throat> While I was painting this, three quarters of the way through, um... Angela's, uh, I guess her PR manager or her friend and, uh, anyways, Jill, <clears> they <throat> contacted me and mentioned, you know, Angela's just got given the uh, Order of Canada. I was like, wow, that's amazing. She said, we should, we should put that in the painting. I was like, oh, huh. I was like, no, I don't think so. I mean, I don't, one thing I don't like to do is rework an image after I've laid out the composition and I've started on it. I put all my thought and, everything into it and I don't want to muck around with it anymore after that. So I originally said no. I don't want to I don't want to do that. And Angela had mentioned that, you know, I mentioned if she wanted any awards in there and she said, no, no, it's not about that. We don't have to put any awards in. I was like, okay, that's that's cool. That was a great answer. I loved it. So I was like, no, I'm sorry, I don't think we should put that in. As I was finishing up the painting, I was like, you know, that's too big an achievement to ignore. We have to get that in there. So I asked for her to send me the pin that Angela had gotten. Here's an image of the pin. This is actually Angela's. So they emailed it to me. And then uh, he just ignored this, this pencil work. That was me rescaling it. I had to draw it over and rescale it to make it larger. So I had to get it in there without it looking like an afterthought or overpowering the painting. It had to be part of the composition. And this is the solution I came up with. And you may not see it here, but in the original, this outline here, sparkles it's a little bit i gave it a little bit of a hint of gold so I don't know, i'll move that and see if it sparkles i don't know 
which is nice and that is the actual outline you know you see the gold here coming around that's the idea there and I thought that was a perfect place for it if you look at the piece it's not overpowering it's not jumping out it's part of her achievement it's behind her now and I, I thought that was just a great solution I hope I hope you think that's a great solution as well it almost didn't get in there but I'm very happy I added it I mean that's just a nice subtle way of, of saying yes the order of Canada has been achieved which is Congrats on that too, Angela. That's amazing. I chose this portrait of her to work with <clears throat> because the humble, the humble, like you, you look at her face here. This is when she was being inducted in the Hall of Fame. There's no ego, no arrogance, just this humble pride of accomplishment. After all she went through, I mean, her life story is amazing. And after all she went through, there's no, no ego. You love it. So and the other thing, I, I really enjoy doing this painting, if you look at her skin, is a, she's got a nice beautiful caramelly color skin. Those are colors I don't get to use uh, I don't, very often, so I really enjoyed painting that. I had a good good time painting that those skin colors in it, because it's colors I don't often use, which was nice. I'll pull out. So there we go with the... Uh, so you've got... I'll just briefly run through the whole idea. You've got the Fleming in Park days from her youth. And you've got uh, Fleming in Arena, which is now named Angel James Arena. You've got the International Hockey, where all her hockey led for Team Canada. You've got the Hockey Hall of Fame. Her Seneca roots up there at the rafters and her Hockey Hall of Fame induction. And you got the lights of outdoor hockey winter nights where she spent her time if i've laid this out correctly composition wise the idea is that your eye gets pulled in and it starts to move around you know you look at this piece so the stick should pull you into the hockey hall of fame and you look at that and you're like oh okay and then you look up here oh what's that then you look over here you see angela then you look to see the order of canada then you're back to her past again <clears throat> it brings you right back to where it all started again and then you go around again so the idea is you want your eye when you're doing a painting to keep moving around and I certainly hope I've succeeded in, in doing that with this piece so that you're, you're moving around and there's a lot going on so you have to have a way of not only the eye traveling through but relaxing which is why you get you know a few open spots here at the rafters your eyes get to relax a bit this nice blue background, you get to relax a bit, you know, and then you see all the images again. And then, of course, if, if I worked it out well, you should keep coming back to this and seeing where it all came from, the joy of hockey. And just to give you a, another idea of where it started, composition-wise, to where it is here, there's the original composition sketch. And you can see that's gone. That's gone. There's no need for, you know, it was a bit redundant to have three Team Canada uniforms. And what's been added, of course, is you got the Order of Canada there. And we came out pretty close, you know, we, we worked with the pretty close um, final image to this. And I, I, I like the final image much more. And I sincerely hope that I've done justice to um, Angela's likeness, but also her legacy. I mean, the weight of what she's accomplished. I hope, uh, I hope I've really done it, done her a, a, a service here, doing this piece and bringing it to life. Um, and Angela is also the ambassador for Smile Zone. That is a charity that helps children in hospitals who are ill with you know some grave diseases or tough, real tough health problems. I mean, they they make their hospital stays as comfortable as possible. It's a fantastic organization. And I will be making prints of this available, excuse me, <clears throat> online. When I get that sorted, I will uh, put that information up. But 100% of the profits will be going to that organization. I'll be keeping prices of this as low as I can so that uh, more money can be donated to that organization. So uh, it's really nice that Angela is the ambassador for that. And then if I'm what I'm told is this original will be, it may be placed in the offices of uh, Smiles on. I'm not, I'm not 100% sure, or may go up to auction. I think they're debating what they're going to do with that. But anyways, once it's photographed, it's going to be shipped out, and they will do what they do with that. So, 
I hope you enjoyed the piece. I hope you enjoyed the process. And uh, listen, if you see any symbolisms there that I never mentioned or that you see, there's possible that there's things there that I don't catch. I would love to hear it. You may have a total different interpretation or see something that I didn't intend. And if that's the case, that just makes the painting even more interesting to me. So hope you enjoyed the process and I hope you enjoyed the final piece. And uh, I'd like to hear something in the comments of what you think. And thanks for, uh, thanks for being on this journey with me.